MacLumi 800 is a new member of Snipey's MacLumi series of fully automated chemiluminescence immunoassay analyzers. It uses a swivel alarm design which significantly reduces analyzer size and weight, but still maintaining a throughput of 180 tests per hour. MacLumi 800 can load up to 40 pieces of cuvettes at a time, which can run 240 tests. During testing, these can be continuously loaded. MacLumi kit uses RFID technology. Next to the reagent area, there is a sensor which automatically reads chips on reagent packages and passes on the information to the software. With Snivy technology, there are more than 120 kinds of reagents for choosing. MacLumi reagent kits contain a magnetic microbead suspension rotor. These beads are suspended in solution via the automatic mixing that occurs after loading. In regards to the MacLumi 800, it has capacity for 9 reagents and can be continuously loaded. Samples can be loaded with different types of sample tube. When loading the sample, the barcode reader scans the barcode on the tube and identifies the sample ID, sending such information onto the software. The MacLumi 800 sample area has a maximum capacity of 40 samples and can continuously load samples. The reagent and sample areas are also refrigerated, which helps increasing stability. MacLumi software can automatically obtain the worklist via laboratory information system or via manually input by the operator. A multi-language and user-friendly interface also facilitates operation. After confirmation of the worklist, click the Start button to start the test. As the test commences, the sample needle bypasses the sample and reagents into the cuvette. The sample needle is titanium made and Teflon coated, which makes it crush proof. Internal and external washing plus liquid level and clot detection all ensure accurate pipetting. After the pipetting is complete, the cuvette is transferred to the incubator for 10 to 15 minutes. The incubator has 13 incubation slots available and has precise temperature control to 37 degrees centigrade. Following incubation, the cuvette is moved into the washing station. Here, the magnetic microbees are attracted to the magnet positioned at the back of the cuvette. The cuvette is then cleaned three times with wash buffer to remove unconjugated contents. One bottle of concentrated wash buffer is generally diluted to 10 liters for this purpose. Finally, the cuvette moves into the measuring chamber, which is a darkroom environment. Here, two substrates, starter 1 and starter 2, are added. They react with the present chemiluminescence label, ABEI, EBO. After measuring, the cuvette is pushed into the waste bag and the test ends. Let's review the main steps in running a test. 1. The user loads the desired reagents. 2. The samples are loaded. 3. Desired work list is input either through LIS or manually. 4. Press start and wait for the results. The MacLumi 800 has ideal sample and reagent capacity to fully meet the daily needs of small laboratories and complementary toys for large hospitals.